life is going to happen. And you're going to set up a plan and you're going to have a vision and you're going to hope that it's going to turn out perfect. But what so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're going to have to choose your reaction. You have a choice to make. Do you have the right reaction or do you have the wrong reaction? Some of us were tempted. I'll just lay here and it will pass over me. I'm telling you, you will be in a vicious cycle forever. You have to get up. Some of you have been knocked out by life and you got up and saw the blood. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Recycle the chain. Get something from it. You already paid. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still look at outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. This is time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your goal through, you ready to quit. You ready to get in because it don't look like you think it should look. You been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking like you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Why do you keep crying? Why me, God? Why did I get MS? Why did I get cancer? Why did my mama die? Why did I get fired? Do you understand? Listen, you got put through that because what that does, that tension produces brightness. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Now listen to me, I don't care if you're sick, I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you're waking up, you're still in the game. As long as you're alive, you can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils, boom, you're still in the game. You still can win. Now pick your butt up. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I just, oh, yeah, I don't know if this gonna work. I try and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. Get emotional if you must. Cry if you must. Get it out. But keep saying, walk back, come back, and you finish crying. And put a time limit on the bar. You say, coach, I need 30 minutes. No change it. But when you come back after that 31 minutes, you better cry. Because if you don't, you will be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. And so you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here. And I promise you, I ain't leaving without the debris. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that drink. I will not leave this university until I'm successful. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this office opportunity until I get it. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it wind you or will you let it redefine you?